You know, the crazy thing with me is that I never, I never intended to be uh, a, an artist or a full-time artist. And in fact, there was a period in my life when I couldn't even say those words, I am an artist. I remember sharing that with a group of, of colleagues at Yale University. And shortly after that, I don't know, I guess I must have been mulling it over in my mind. Uh, I started this, this painting journey at the age of 47. And within a couple of months, uh, we were in uh, a gallery uh, in Black Diamond. I think that's where it was. And all of a sudden, I could picture myself having work in this space. And, and I was able to say the words for the very first time, I am an artist. It was a it was a it was a gargantuan shift in thought and in feeling, and uh, it's been a great journey uh, in those eight years. You know, I started painting uh, in 2014, and it was exclusively portraits, and they were what I called at the time, for lack of a better word, I called them wild color portraits, and. Um, there was tons of color and, and personality and they were fast and loose and it became a thing. It just, it became a thing. And all of a sudden uh, I found myself in a situation where I was getting so many requests for commissions that it was causing me undue stress. And I, and I said to my wife, Heather, that I think, I think I've got to try this full time. And so I did, I, I left traditional employment and sort of with thinking of that first year as almost like a sabbatical, to st just to feel it and put it on and see how it felt. And well, it felt great. And uh, I've been painting full-time ever since, starting uh, in at the age of 50, and I'm, I think, turning 55 this year. So it's been about five years. Um, we have a, a birdsong studio in uh, Okotoks, uh, Alberta, just south of Calgary, and we're really pleased to be part of this exhibition at Wild Skies Gallery. And a big thanks to Alexis and Aaron for inviting me uh, to share this work with you characters. I love painting people. I love, I've always loved it. I've, I used to draw when I was little. I've added color in my later years, but um, I've been intrigued by the, the process of capturing a person and the essence of a character. And so many times it's a small little thing in the face that makes the person who they are. It's hard to express, but I, there was a time I painted George W. Bush, and for the longest time I was really struggling with it because he looked just like his dad. It didn't look like the son. And then I made one small adjustment, and then there he was. It was just it just needed that micro touch. And so many times that is the case, and and um, I I have enjoyed the wild color, which you're going to see in this exhibit, but I've also enjoyed sort of a monochromatic style in recent months. 
Inspired by our friends uh, Sherry and Christoph, who own uh, 94 Take the Cake here on historic Alma Street in Okotoks. It's, a, it's a, an iconic coffee shop that they made this huge transformation to a black and white sort of coloring book world. And uh, they asked if I would consider painting some things in black and white. Up to that point, I had not. And that's led to a whole series of portraits of famous people in black and white and in the monochromatic style. And you're gonna see several examples of those in this exhibition as well. Whether it's the crazy colors or the absence of color, I'm all about trying to find the character and hopefully draw the viewer in to connect with that person, whether it's a memory, if it's a musician, maybe it's a memory, a connection to a song, or if it's an actor uh, or an actress, a, a connection to something they've seen or feel about that individual. And that's my hope. There's even uh, one recent painting of Oscar the Grouch in the collection, and Oscar the Grouch was incredibly important to me as a child. Uh, I watched Sesame Street religiously every day at 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, I remember that it was one of my earliest memories, the day they took the black and white television away, which made me very upset, and they replaced it with a Zenith color TV. And then all of a sudden Oscar was in color. Oh my gosh, it was a great day in the uh, Thomas household. Anyway, that's the exhibit you're about to enjoy. And I, I do hope that you find a couple of characters that you can connect with.